Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone had a wonderful long weekend and enjoyed the Easter break. The Australian dollar is currently trading slightly softer at the moment and is looking towards the region of 76.3035 today, with the resistance seen at 77.10. The bears are likely to still remain dominant in this move, with the bulls still remaining in the shadows. However, a little bit of caution today, we do have the RBA rate decision at 2.30, along with a statement, and the market is preparing itself for a slightly dovish tone. However, I'm still looking for the hawks in this market, purely for the fact is that um, I still view a rate hike for this year. With the current pattern still holding negative, I do believe that market on the day will hold at 76.30.35 and see a slight rebound. Well, the dollar index is still underneath 90. There's still questions whether it can, can continue from last week's rally, but... Overall, the last three days of trading, the euro has failed to show any kind of direction, even though that uh, over the night that China has announced that it has implemented tariffs on 128 types of US imports. It now expects to see a counterstroke from the US. So as the market slowly digests, the actual um, tit for tat that's going on between China and the US we could see a slightly weaker US dollar. Now the index is now last traded at 89.70 and I do need to see further momentum in the next 24 hours. Looking to the euro, the range on the day sees at 122.70 to 123.5. Well, the dollar yen slips once again and falls further away from that 107.30 level and that looks for the challenge of 105.50.70. I do expect to see the balls return from this region and stage yet another re rebound. This market is slowly playing this roller coaster ride from 104.5 to 107. But nevertheless, we are nearer to the bottom side of the range. The technicals haven't broken down completely to support this bearish case. This is why I feel the market is a buy on dips and could see a rebound. Well, my view on sterling has nearly closed in on the uptrend at 139.15.30. I do expect to see further weakness into this week and could see this level challenged. Failing to get a rebound from 139.15.30 could see the next target, which comes in around 138.45. Resistance on the day seen at 140.75. Now, with the uh, US and China tariffs being uh, revealed, or should I say in the news, and the ongoing con confrontation between the two, gold has found a little bit of a safe haven and market was rebounded from the previous $23 sell-off. From the $13.20 support, you can still see this market's in a roller coaster ride, and it looks like that the, we're still playing in a $1,300 to $1,360 range. On the day, I expect to see a $38.44 uh, range, but not as bullish. The market's still likely to see a pullback. Rounded off with oil, the market has shown a very sharp sell-off, in the last 24 hours and from that the rejection is clearly in line with the uh, 66 resistance therefore i do expect to see further down tests and from the technical implications look towards 61 dollars a barrel and reassess from there so that wraps up for today thank you very much for joining me and i hope you enjoy the new start to the week